Hello, hello friends. How are you all today? I hope this day finds you all well. The day after the full moon, the nice pink moon. Um, I had posted a picture on the community page of like my little ritual that I do every full moon. I like to take all my crystals and bring them outside and um, so they can get cleansed, you know, by the full moon and whatnot. But I made the mistake of not checking the weather and it rained over here. So some of my crystals that weren't supposed to get wet got wet. And yeah, we're gonna talk about that in a later video because I know everywhere where I get my crystals from and there's definitely gonna be a box I'm canceling this year that I've been with for a very long time. So we'll talk about that in another video. But anyway, full disclaimer, I am sick. So sorry, my voice is a little scratchy and rough. I have a, like a sore throat going on. But I was excited when this box came in and I just couldn't wait to open it. So I'm like, I gotta do the unboxing whether I feel like crap or not. So hence the no makeup, hence the rough voice. <laughs> those that know me know it is what it is. Um, those that don't know me, welcome to my channel. If you are looking for perfection, this is not the place for you. I am perfectly imperfect, as I like to say. Um, yeah, I don't edit my videos. I don't, I was gonna say I don't believe in it, but I guess I really don't believe in it. I just don't do it. I just don't care to do it. I, I just don't care. Like, it is what it is. You, what you see is what you get. My reaction is how I feel in the moment. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Um, yeah, like, you just never know what's gonna come out of my, um, mouth. I tend to butcher words and butcher names, not on purpose. It's just, I don't know why, honestly. <laughs> I don't know why that happens to me when I'm on camera. It's not like somebody's sitting here watching me, but I don't know. It just, it is what it is. But anyway, enough of that. Uh, today we're doing an unboxing of Sacred Space Crate. I don't know if I've already said that. Probably. But anyway, um, my first time um, ordering from them. And it's a pretty big box. I'll put in the description how much I paid because I honestly can't remember right now. Sorry, I need to sip some tea. I'm so sorry. I usually don't like to drink or anything on camera, but my throat's killing me. So, um, let's just get into this. I didn't cut that aside. All right. So when we open this, if it wants to open. <laughs> I'm struggling today, guys. I feel so weak. I don't know why. All right. Here we go. Here we go. It's just a box. It's just a boop. So we open it up. This box is already speaking to me. What's the first thing that I see when I open this box? It's a paper that says Moonchild on it. Okay, if that doesn't speak to me, then I don't know. Oh my God, I just got a peek of something else. <laughs> this box is already, I'm already excited. So let's see. Um, if you don't like my voice, you can fast forward through this part, but it's like literally like a few sentences I'm about to read. So fast forward if you want to. Uh, the moon child, the moon child. <laughs> Moon child. The moon enchants us with its bright feminine energy, its tide-like tug, and its promise of cyclical, cyclical? Am I saying that right? Whatever, change. For centuries, the moon has been a symbol of the goddess spirit, hanging like an orb above our heads, sometimes a slip of light, other times as fat and full as harvest. A moon child is someone born with a unique spiritual connection to universal and planetary energy. Moon children are especially sensitive to energy waves, planetary shifts, changes, and lunar cycles. They have a deep soul connection to the moon, planets, and universal energy. <laughs> Many of us form our practice around the cycles of the moon, with each cycle being valuable to the magic we are creating. My intention while curating this box was to give you items that will enchant your connection to the moon, as well as give you items that you would use in your daily practice. The items curated for this box are as follows. Oh, okay, cool. So this is, <clears throat> I'm sorry guys. So this is all the items in the box, front and back. And we will go over all those at the end. I'm just wondering, many blessings to you, Miss Melissa, Sacred Space Clay. All right, so I'm not sure if this is a one woman show. I honestly, I usually try to read up on the um, company beforehand, but I'm not gonna lie, I literally ordered this was it yesterday? The day before? Two days ago? And it's already here. So 
So I was like, holy crap. So I really didn't do my homework on them, but I will for the next one because just taking a quick peek at this box. I'm pretty sure I'm going to order it again. So the next thing I see is this beautiful picture and it's just um, April's full moon is called the pink moon, which I know that all times are shown as CST. Well, this is cool. This is just like April's, um, oh, it has something on the back. I never know where my camera ends on this thing. So that's a pretty picture. And then it has like all the moons and their dates and the time, which is really cool. And then on the back, I'm not really sure because I didn't look yet, but I'm guessing, I'm gonna read mine. Let's see, it says Taurus, an earth sign, here we go, an earth sign and the zodiac sign symbolizing the home, comfort, decor, and finances. The moon in Taurus is an optimal moon sign for starting long-term projects. You may feel called to spend time at home in your garden or in nature. This moon sign is an excellent time to ground yourself by meditating or contemplating your desires outdoors. Oh, I thought it was like a horoscope. <clears throat> Excuse me. But it's really just, um, it tells you what each moon is. So we just had the Virgo moon, which was the pink moon um, last night. And the Virgo is the earth sign associated with organization, efficient habits, and health. A moon in Virgo is undoubtedly the best time to start a new routine or positive habit or to organize, get on schedule, or tidy things up. You may find that your mind is sharp, sensitive, and quick while the moon is in Virgo. So take this opportunity to catch up on your studies, read, or learn new things. That's cool. So in the back, it just tells you basically what each moon, what's like, what it's about. I like that a lot. That's cool. Another piece of paper, using the energy of the moon. New moon, waxing moon, full moon, rainy moon. And it just tells you um, the lunar phasers. Uh, phasers? Phases. See what I mean? Like, I'm not lying. I don't do it on purpose. It's just, I'm just, I don't know. I don't know, guys. But here you go. I don't know if I even did that good enough for you. I tried. So it says like new moon, new beginnings, waxing moon, growth, learn creativity, full moon, manifestation, harvest, protect, waning moon, letting go, cleanse, release, opening up. It says a lot more than that, but that's just the gist of it. Oh my God, this is so pretty. Oh, this is so cool. I'm gonna take it out of this paper. I just got a whiff of some like flowers. My cat's chilling out here with me. He hears all the birds. Check out this print that we got, that we received. So let me put it back here first, and let me slowly bring it. Like, how pretty is that? That's like really pretty. I really like that with the owls and the wolf and the pretty flowers and just like the whole scenery, the pink moon. That's beautiful. So these were the few things that were on top so far. We've got a calendar, a print, <clears throat> the lunar phases, and the papers on what's in the box. Oh, you know, I'm such an idiot. What I'm smelling is what's coming from this box. I'm like, I smell. I'll put this in there later. I'm not fighting with that right now. All right, so let me show you this box. Now, after I take all that out, it's like nicely packaged. If you watch my videos, you know I am a sucker for anyone who takes the time to like package everything nicely, like make you feel special. Like. So there's a sticker on here. It says sacred space and it says, may the healing energy of the moon goddess in all her phases inspire us to be reborn to our true nature and highest selves. It's really pretty and it's purple, my favorite color. I'll say that every time something's purple, so. Get annoyed if you want. Oh well. <laughs> I just love it. I'm trying not to ruin the sticker. I don't know why. It's not like I can stick it, but I just like it. Oh. Oh, so cool. I got some little stickers of the moon phases, which is awesome because I was actually looking for something like this to put in my um, BOS because, yeah, I needed some. So that's really cool. Is that the incense I'm smelling? Moon Garden Incense. Oh my God, it is. Guys, these are strong, but they smell so, like I don't even have to open it. It smells like, 
oh, I don't know, like, like I'm like running through a field of flowers or something. I don't even know. Like it smells so good. But we got three, six incense. I smell divine. Yeah, those smell really good. All right. This little baggie. Oh, something fell out of it. I'm gonna put it back in and pretend like it didn't. So I got this cute little baggie and it has all stars and moons on it. And it came with this like palm stone, which I'm not really sure what this is. It's really pretty, but what's funny is on the back, it's like grouped. I don't know if you can see it, like goes in. That's really cool. Like for your thumb, like, I don't know. <coughs> Sorry. But yeah, I like the bag. The bag is really cute. So we got a cute little stone. See what that is later. Oh, this is like packed with stuff, guys. Like packed. And it smells so good from them incense. So we got another little baggie. Like so. You hear my cat? <laughs> he makes those weird sounds when he sees like squirrels. And... Oh, this smells delicious too. It smells different though. But it smells good. I'm trying to take it out. Oh, it's like a very light lavender color. Maybe it is like lavender, so I don't know. It smells really good too. That smells good. So we got that. I'm gonna open up all the little small stuff first because there's like a couple of boxes in here too. I don't even know. I'm like really excited for this. And I really just stumbled upon it. I was looking for random boxes. And then I stumbled upon this. Milk thistle seed hole. Silly bum merriam. Oh, that's cool. I honestly, I've heard of this, but I've never like seen it. It kind of reminds me of like, um, what do you call those? Uh, sorry, let me get it. There we go. Like um, sunflower seeds. That's what I was trying to think of. And that's what it says. Oh, that's cool. Good little herb. I love these little jars too. Next I'm pulling out is waxing moon ritual tea. Oh, I love me some tea. That's what I'm sipping on right now. Brewing instructions. Add one teaspoon to 68 ounces of boiling water. Let steep four minutes. Ingredients: black tea, apricot pieces, marigold petals, and fruit flavor. Contains caffeine. Alright, so we got that. And it has their logo and it's like hologram on the back. That's pretty cool. Sorry guys, my throat is so dry. I'm so sorry. I'm like afraid to sip my tea on camera. <laughs> oh. What else we got in here? Ooh, I almost dropped the box. That would have been like really bad. This stuff is like really packed. Oh, this is so pretty. Full moon ritual oil. Oh, I love that. So it says full moon ritual oil and then check out the back. Like how pretty is that? It has the flowers like the rose and like dandelion in that. I don't know if you can see that is so pretty. Oh, I love that. And it's sealed, I like that. It's still going guys. There's like two more little things and then I have two big things in here. Alright, this looks like another oil. Another new moon ritual. Oh, so they gave me a full moon and a new moon. This one's kind of cloudy. It's not in like special like the other one, but yeah, see? It kind of reminds me of like um I don't know why when I look at it, it's like murky water or something. But I wonder if they smell good. So that's that. And at the bottom, we have full moon bath ritual salts. Oh, that's nice. It looks like salt and flowers, maybe rose buds and stuff. It doesn't say what's on there, though. Does it? And that little thing? Oh, it does. Duh. Sea salt, rose oil, rose buds, jasmine, and chrysanthemum flowers. I say that because you the empty. Did I say that right? I don't know. But that's what's in there. So 
whole box smells so good. Uh, each thing has a different smell. This smells really good too. This one smells like flowers, but like more potent, I think, than the incense. All right, it's got a lot of stuff in this box. All right, I'm gonna open up this this box first. I don't know what to do with this. Let me put this down. This moi. <laughs> so we got this guy right here. Topper. It's a seashell. This is really cute. Oh, putting this on my altar as soon as I'm done. Look at this. We got this blue vase that's very like pretty, and then it has a triple moon right here. The pentagram. Look at that. That is so cool. You could like collect moon water or something in this. You can literally do whatever you want in it. That's what first comes to mind. I think that's what I'm gonna do with it. That's cute. We got that. And then the last thing in this box we received was another box. This one's lighter than that one. Moon Goddess Statue Candle Holder. Oh, so it tells you what it is. Moon Goddess Statue Candle Holder. Oh, it's tooth down there. Good thing I got my scissors. So what I like about this box is <clears throat> everything I got I don't have already, which is really cool considering I order from a different a bunch of different boxes. Let's unwrap this Moon Goddess. Oh my god, I see a black cat, Finn. Looks like you. Oh, so this is cool. And she's purple, my favorite color. And she has like the cat and all the moon phases going down. And then she has like an offering bowl. And that's where you would put your candle right there. Um, I wish she had hair in her face. <laughs> it's kind of, it's a little creepy. But I like it nonetheless. I do like it. And I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little tiny moon, like, right there, too. Like, engraved. But, yeah. She cute. She cute. So, yeah. Let's see what they say. I really liked this box. I wasn't sure what to expect. Um, I was just looking for something new. Oh, so it just kind of tells you what it is. It doesn't give you prices on anything. Oh, but you know what? This candle that they gave you fits perfectly. Look at that. Ain't she a cutie? So that's cool. Yes, I. the only thing I really do want to know is what would I use a milk thistle for? Oh, it's a lot of paragraphs. She chose milk thistle this month because it's one of the moon flowers and is found in a moon garden because it is a lunar herb. I didn't know that. By nature, lunar herbs are cool and moist. They represent the feminine or yin aspects of the universe and may be worked in polarity with solar herbs. Lunar herbs promote a nurturing quality within the individual and work compatibility with the receptive aspects of one's being. The green world of plants grows at night, having generated its fuel during the day from the radiant sunlight. It says a whole bunch of stuff about it. Good, so it's a good herb, I can't speak right. It's a good herb to use for protection, hang sachets in the home <clears throat> or carrying with you for this purpose. Carrying it with you in a sachet, sachet. Also gives strength and vitality. Milk thistle is also an herb to use for all healing spells and magical workings, especially those for relieving depression and driving away melancholy. Another thing, it can break spe and spells for hex breaking and exorcism. That's pretty cool. It has a lot of um, uses. I'm sorry, my throat is killing me right now, guys. I talked way too much. Again, how pretty is this? Oh my, how pretty is this? So, 
yeah, I think I will definitely order it, order it again. <laughs> yeah, I give up talking, guys. If you, <laughs> if you know, you know. But I appreciate you all coming to my channel, checking me out. I really do appreciate it. And um, I hope you like this box. Let me know what you think. And if you guys, seriously, please give me suggestions because like I have a few coming boxes coming, but I'm always down for suggestions. You know what I'm saying? So let me know in the comments if you'd like me to try like a box, maybe a box that you want to try, but you're not sure. I'll try it for you, you know, and let you know what I think about it. But yeah, anyway, I hope you all have a blessed day. And until next time, Peace and love. Thanks for watching. Bye.